Hello and welcome to the Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you a trick by which you can do a very common operation which is copying one table from another table. So suppose you have created one table which is required for a document but now it is being requested or needed in another Power BI uh, workbook. For example you see that I have this workbook and I have this workbook. So now I want to basically copy this La table which is a line chart one if I right click and I try to find out I have nothing right similarly if I try to go in into table view I have uh, tried to find out nothing right similarly in the model view if I try there is nothing which I can find I can select the table try to get it nope nothing and even here in the properties I don't get anything so how can I copy this so that I don't have to do or uh, processing or let's say the output uh, again into the Power BI. Well, uh, if that is something which I will show you before that a quick information about uh, my data sets and Power BI videos. So the data sets uh, is basically something which I keep it in the data sets folder within this I have this data sets sheet. So the link for this folder is present in the uh, description you will with that you will come over here in this you will find the data sets sheet which contains my recently used data sets like superstore data set is the most common one used also i keep all of my videos into this power into this google sheet that way the link is something which i have given in the description so that you can go and access this link by and and access all of my 300 plus videos uh, that I have created like someone has just appeared over here. So what it is doing is you can very easily come search and jump onto the video using the video link. Okay now back to our solution. So we need this line chart right. So what do we do is we come over here in report view and then we go into the power query in this power query what we will going to get is these tables and then we want this line chart table to be copied because this is a small data set I don't want to you know again write it right so what I'll do is I will right click and now I find it copy option I have the copy right and uh, I can close it right and then I go to my second workbook which is here I go into this power query and now I can simply right click and paste as you would expect. So I will right click and I will paste and if you will see I get this information close and apply and if you see it also figured it out any operation that I performed that's why I was saying it is it is very useful function if you are not aware like I was not aware I did spend a couple of minutes and then figured it out so I thought I'll share with you and you can also find it easily. Now the line chart is present here I can go into this table and line chart is present here and same values are now present here which I can then use it in my visual. With that uh, that's what I wanted to show you with that thank you so much and I'll meet you in the next video with the new topic and, and make sure you hit the like button if you really enjoyed and it, it has helped you and, and share it on LinkedIn and Twitter. Thank you.